Um, so headings, what are they? Headings are components to structure a document visually, but also on the back end. And the back end being that magical place of technology where things work and we don't necessarily know how they work, but they do things, especially when interacting with assistive technology. Headings are especially needed for any student that uses assistive technology. And then the last bullet is um, people try to mimic headings by using things like bold, italics, all caps, different font size or underlines to signify a title or a section or an area of a document. But using bold, italics, all caps, font size, underlines, they are in fact not the proper way to identify those sections. They are not actually headings. But headings are helpful because they're used to facilitate reading. Um, and I'll show an example on the next slide of what I mean. But they're really essential for students with visual impairments to both understand the layout of the document and how to navigate it. Um, let me give you an example with this slide. I'm assuming all of us are sighted. Um, if you're not, I will still describe this if you weren't. But we're looking at a slide right now. And we can tell that there's the name of the slide at the top on the left, it's called headings. And then I have two columns. The first column has essentially a subheading of what are they? And then I have three bullet points under that. The second column is how are they used? And it's again, another like subheading and then three bullet points on that side. For somebody who is blind, they don't know how all of this text relates to each other unless if their technology tells them, hey, this is a heading, this is a bulleted list, this is a paragraph, um, this is an image, this is a table, et cetera. We sighted people take for granted that we just get the structure of something because our eyes communicate very quickly to our brain, oh, there's two columns, this is the main topic, these are the three bullet points that she's gonna cover, okay, great. We can do that with our eyes, but somebody needs to be able to do that same type of a thing with their technology. So let's give you a, a more tangible example. Um, the example I'm using, and let me actually for this go to the web version of this. So I'm gonna go back, there we go. I'm gonna go to the Wikipedia page for dogs. And on this page, we have a main title called dog at the top. And then there's paragraphs of text, there's links, et cetera. And then there's a table of contents. As I scroll past the table of contents, I can see that there's a section called taxonomy and then some text. And then I can see a section called origin and then some text, biology. And then within the biology section, there's a couple of subsections. Anatomy being one, size and weight is uh, nested under anatomy, it looks like, and so on. So we get this sense of layout, of hierarchy, of connection, of organization, um, based upon how the text is structured. If I scroll back up to that table of contents, I can see that structure being clearly outlined with just those main titles. So for example, one of the main sections is a taxonomy, origin, and biology. But biology has four subsections, 3.1 anatomy, 3.2 health, 3.3 reproduction, 3.4 inbreeding depression. But under anatomy, there's five additional child sections, size and weight, senses, coat, tail, differences between wolves. Somebody who is blind will not understand that relationship unless if headings exist and headings exist in the proper order. So for example, taxonomy, origin, biology, these are all like heading twos. And then a heading three is anatomy because the heading three is a sub point of the previous heading two. So anatomy is underneath the biology umbrella. And then these five additional sections are underneath the umbrella of anatomy. So you could think of it as biology is a heading two. The heading one is dogs way up here. So we know what we're talking about. So heading one would be dogs. Heading two is biology. Heading three is anatomy. And then heading 
four is size and weight, senses is a heading four, coat is a heading four, and so on and so on. Um, this is not a new concept, especially to those who teach English. Essentially, it's the idea of if all of your content were in an outline form, how would things be nested and related to each other? Um, yeah, and I'm loving this question um, from Dana. These really help you skim through the material to find what you're looking for, right? I use Wikipedia way more than I probably should, but it's really nice to know, oh, I actually am really curious about the intelligence of dogs. So instead of having to scroll through several pages, I can actually use this table of contents that was generated from using headings and skip right down to intelligence. 